Many tame birds enjoy interacting with people. However, most find any kind of restraint frightening and stressful. For some sick birds, restraint could result in injury or death. Restraint may become necessary when owners need to administer first aid, remove a bird quickly from an unsafe situation, or assess an injury. While restraint is often also used for administration of medications or to help place a bird in a carrier, we recommend training birds to accept medication and to willingly enter carriers on their own. Look for another video in this series on how to train your bird to do those behaviors. When restraint is necessary, knowing safe techniques is extremely important. First, it's important to understand that birds breathe by expanding their body cavity, called the coelom. This causes air to enter the trachea, much like a bellows. Compression of the body cavity can impede the bird's ability to breathe. The bird's trachea is made up of relatively tough, complete tracheal rings, which are more resistant to compression than a mammal's trachea. For this reason, a bird can be held firmly around the neck, allowing a towel to gently contain the body, wings, and feet. Watch the bird's breathing pattern carefully during restraint and complete what is needed as quickly as possible. If the bird begins breathing faster and harder, release him or her quickly. When your bird will not willingly take oral medications, restrain carefully. Then introduce the syringe into the side of the bird's beak. Some powerful birds may break the syringe, so use caution. Use the fingers of your restraining hand to prevent excessive movement of the head if necessary. Deliver the medication one drop at a time and allow the bird time to swallow. Contact your avian veterinarian right away if you have any questions on the proper way to restrain a bird in an emergency or when it's medically necessary.